Hey guys, this is going to be an update and an unboxing episode. I'm going to show you some new stuff I have to review and some old stuff to sing around that I still need to review. Uh, I have lots of videos to make that I just haven't been able to get to yet. Been very busy around here. First and foremost, I am now on Instagram. So if you head over to Instagram and find Nick Shaves on there, I'm posting daily pictures or every other day uh, pictures of my shaves. Whenever I shave, it's going up there. So first of all, I just got this today in the mail. It's from West Coast Shaving. I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you guys what I have here. A few exciting products I've been wanting to try for quite a while now. Alright. Nice packaging. Alright, so here's the first thing. Tabac Original. I've never had this before. This is supposed to be a really incredible shaving soap. I'm really excited to give it a try. It's supposed to have a really nice scent to it. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a great shave. So that's the first thing that's going to be coming up. Let's see what else I got in here. All right. Mitchell's Wool Fat Shaving Soap from England. Very nice. This is obviously a, uh, a very popular product. Time tested. This is many people's favorite shaving soap. So I'm also very excited to have this to review. Alright. Next one. Latoa Habon de Afetar. I think that means shaving soap. This is a shaving stick. Mm, really nice scent. Uh, very popular. I believe it's from Spain. Let me confirm that. Yeah, Barcelona. So anyway, I just got this. This is going to be an upcoming episode. And one more thing in here. Alright. Here it is. A new Omega shaving brush. So as you guys know, I use my Badger and Blade Essential Boar Hair a lot. Um, I really love that brush. It's an Omega knot in there. But it runs $20 to $30 and you know, there's just, Omega makes amazing products at really great prices. This was uh, 8 or $9, I can't quite remember. So my goal is to be using this as my daily shaving brush. And it's hopefully something that, you know, if you guys are looking for a brush, you might be using. Because um, it's just such a great deal. So I'm hoping that this is going to be just as good as my other knot. Oh yeah, it definitely has a little bit of a pig scent. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, get this broken and I'm going to do a few like my little tricks I showed in some of my other videos. Alright, so that's my new stuff that just came in. Now I'm going to go over some of this other stuff I have sitting around that I still need to review. So first of all, look at safety razors. These are two safety razors from Synergy, uh, how, or how to Grow a Mustache. They also have their Longfellow which is currently connected to my GoPro so I don't have it here. If you're viewing these, uh, these are some vintage razors. These are my late grandfather's safety razors. This is a Schick Kronos, a uh, Gillette Super Speed, and a Gillette Adjustable. So I'm going to be reviewing all of these. These are vintage. Uh, these are from the 60s and 70s. All right, back here to shaving soap. So I'm going to be reviewing, checking out this uh, Razor Rock Captain's Choice. This is really awesome. I've been using it some and with their lathering bowl, which is actually amazing, which is what I'm switching to now for all of my lather reviews. I have some Kells Original. This is Mystic Waters. I just put in this little Pyrex tub here. Have the Imperial. Some Derby. These are from a, uh, a viewer. Uh, this is from Robert. Got in contact with me. This is Vitos Extra Super Crop. Ozma Shaving Soap and Institute Karit, which I'm very excited to be reviewing. Here we have Tete -a -tete. Uh, This is from Prairie Creations. This is St. Charles Shave, and this is from Honey Bee Soaps. Oh, and also Vanderhagen. I'm doing that actually today, so it's sitting on my, uh, on my counter in the bathroom. In terms of aftershaves, I've been getting lots of requests for aftershaves, so here's what I have. This is the uh, Clubman Virgin Island Bay Rum. This is the Pinod Clubman Aftershave Lotion, whichever version this is. This one is from St. Charles Shave, I believe. This is their dagger. I need to confirm where this is from. I'm pretty sure it is. Aftershave Milk, really like that a lot. These are from Mr. Fine, a few of their different aftershaves. Superior 70. These are the How to Grow Mustache Gondolier, alcohol free and alcohol base. Then the Ogallala Bay Rum. So, this is a lot of stuff I gotta get through, and these do take a while. You know, I like doing good videos for you guys. So, these will all be coming up, and you'll be seeing some of these sooner or rather than later. I'm gonna try to get this nice and conditioned and ready to go here really soon. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and please let me know if there's anything else here that I haven't reviewed yet that you guys would still like to see. Alright, thank you.